On today's episode of Fix It Your Motherfucker Sale, we got the 2008 Saturn Aurora. The XE edition, you know, 3.5 liter engine. Yeah, we gonna show y'all what we got to do today, so y'all hold on a minute and be right on back. As y'all can see, the car's not on, but we got the switch on. Customers complaining about motherfucker overheating and shit, right? Now, we did diagnose it has a hole in the radiator, but even with the hole in the radiator, there's a small hole. There was something more than ECI going on here. So, yeah, show y'all what's going on. Be right back in a minute. Now, we picked this old girl up last night. And it's been sitting since last night. And it hasn't been started today. And it's about, oh, you know, 12.30 in the afternoon on Saturday, February the fucking 4th. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. The fifth. <laughs> February the fifth. Look at me. Don't even know what damn date it is. But as you can see where this engine coolant temperature sensor says, right now with the car not even been started, this is 33 degrees. We know damn well that's a fucking lie. So let's turn the bitch on. Keep an eye on that. See what it says. As you can see the engine speed, because it's at 1,500 RPM. So that's correct. Now look, it's steady going the fuck up, and we just turned the car on. 41, 42. There's no way this car just got started. Look, the temperature gauge ain't went nowhere. But we're, it's showing like we're at 51, 53 degrees. And we just started the car. Matter of fact, let's go down. And see. Well, let's see if we can find where it says. It says engine runtime right there. Do you see that? 49 fucking seconds. Engine runtime. But yet, we go up here. See the engine cooling temperature sensor. And it's 80 degrees and 49 seconds. Yeah, right. So, you know what that means? The engine coolant temperature sensor is bad. That's why we got this motherfucker here, the replacement. So we're gonna show y'all how to change this bitch out. Holla child in a minute. First, we're gonna pop the old hood. Get under here. Pull the latch. If I can find it, man. Lift it up. Take out the uh, oil cap. Throw that to the side. And right there is what we got to take care of. So we're going to holler child in a minute. Right. We'll take off this 8 millimeter here. And this 8 millimeter here. And get this tube up out of here. Then we're going to also take that off and then we're gonna go get us eight millimeter and take all the other shit off since we took that off I'll show you what next need to be done oh by the way that socket to take that off is a deep 19 millimeter so how the child in a minute well there's the old one gotta get the new one out and we'll get this thing on in there like i said 19 millimeter so we have a child in a minute as y'all see the new one's in it's the old bullshit. Good old brand new good shit. Old bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? So we're gonna holler child in a minute. As y'all see, we got old Humpty Dumpty back together again. We're gonna test the old girl now, see what she talking about now. Be back in a minute, y'all. Alright, let's see what you do now. <clears throat> see temperature gauge still down there? And let's see. We see it was rapidly climbing. I'm gonna rev it up, get the thermostat opening up. You see the RPMs is up because I'm revving this bitch. Trying to warm it up on purpose now. <clears throat> We're gonna be 
back in a minute, y'all. It looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. I'll try in a minute. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had to take a part again. Because everything, we got that in. That is all together. No big deal. That's what we originally did the video for. But like I told you in the beginning of the video, we was going to have to eventually take out the radiator. Because the radiator has a hole in it. Which you can obviously tell right there. But we discovered something else. Because the car still was overheating. Well, we found out why. <laughs> and we dug deeper into the vehicle. Let me turn around here. See, this side has the fan. See the propellers in that fan right there? Yeah, let me see if I can move it around as we sit and watch. Let's see here. If I get my hand in here. See, I'm moving the fan in right there? Well, that's one side. This side does not have the propellers and they're all broke off inside. This is probably why the radiator has a bunch of holes in it. Because whoever had owned this before the, the current owner has, did some rigging. <laughs> and this motherfucker is fucked up with one fan. So you got one fan working a dual fan system, which in turn will cause the car to overheat. So we've talked to the customer already and she just said we need to work out a plan of getting all see how much all the parts cost and everything and we'll get this thing taken care of so for right now we're here to close out this video until we start a new one so y'all stay tuned it's gonna be a series apparently but yeah it means this whole front clip gotta come off this motherfucker to get the whole radiator and everything out yeah, this gotta come off yeah it's gonna be a job headlights and all so Y'all stay tuned. Be back in a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know what this means. This will conclude this episode of Fix It Your Motherfucker Self on a 2008 Saturn Aurora. Y'all stay tuned because we got more that we're going to have to do to this old girl. So stay tuned so you can check those episodes out. Until next time, y'all be careful out there.